And now we return to the trials and tribulations of Brexit as Prime Minister Theresa May looks to secure an extension to the United Kingdom's departure date from the European Union. Having watched three times as Mrs. May failed to persuade Parliament to accept her divorce deal, many people who voted to leave the EU fear that Brexit will never happen. Special correspondent Malcolm Brabant has been assessing the mood in Gravesham in Kent, a district southeast of London represented by a hardcore Brexiter member of Parliament. Here, Brexit moves to the Bangra beat, the favoured dance of the Sikhs, believers in the world's ninth largest religion from Punjab in India. In the 2016 referendum, Sikhs followed the national trend, supporting Brexit by a small majority. The stalemate frustrates them as much as the rest of Britain. We have been played by Europe and my move next would be to basically say no deal, walk away and Brexit. That's how I voted, that's how Britain voted, let's get out. We meet businesswoman Kindi Kaur at the largest Sikh temple outside India. In Gravesham, the Sikhs are respected for their hard work, self-reliance and generosity. Kaur is a member of Theresa May's Conservative Party, but believes the Prime Minister's negotiating stance with Europe has been hopeless. They are playing us for idiots. They think we're desperate. They think our government's falling to bits. They think we're desperate. But we need to show them we're not desperate. We mean business. Let's say no deal. We're walking away. Then watch them. Watch them come after us. At his charity ball, Gravesham's mayor banned talk of politics, but we elicited a couple of opinions. I'm thinking of giving up voting. I'm thinking of giving up politics because it's really annoyed me and you can't do anything about it. If your vote is wasted, if they won't listen to you, why vote? I worry that the next extension will just, it will just get so softened that it won't actually be the Brexit that people have voted for. 17 and a half million people ignored. You're messing this country up. You're messing a beautiful country up, which I love. You lot need sorting out because you don't know what you're doing. At a working class flea market, a vendor has harsh words for Adam Holloway, a former army officer and Gravesham's Conservative Member of Parliament, a hardcore Brexiteer who's rebelled against Theresa May. And if you don't know what you're doing, what can we do? I know what I'm doing. I'm standing up for the 65% for the of people here yeah. who voted to leave the EU, and I'm not signing up yeah. to something that's Brexit in name only, which was cooked up in Brussels by Theresa May and EU officials with hardly any input from British ministers. But some analysts believe Brexiteers like Holloway must shoulder the blame if Britain fails to leave the EU. I think we've lost uh, for the time being. But I don't see this as being, you know, something of this month or this year or whatever else. I mean, if Mrs May succeeds and if Parliament succeeds in thwarting the will of the people here, then there will be an anger in this land, you know, and we'll have to come back to it. If Britain doesn't come out, how much responsibility do you think that you will have to, to bear for voting against the, the Prime Minister's deal for, because you want such a pure Brexit? Isn't her deal the best one that's on offer? Shouldn't you accept it? Well, her deal isn't Brexit. The Prime Minister's deal is worse than remaining inside the European Union. It means that we become a rule taker with no say over great swathes. We risk the union with Northern Ireland. Roma immigrants are especially concerned about Brexit. The Roma have been persecuted for centuries. Hundreds of thousands were murdered during the Holocaust. They found sanctuary in Gravesham, where they compete for low-paid jobs, but they're conscious that many Britons voted for Brexit in order to stop immigration from Eastern Europe. Spokesman Desida Horvath. People scared because they think he sent everybody home. In a week celebrating Roma identity, Peter Pollack, a politician from Slovakia, came to Gravesham to raise their flag. Brexit is the result of extremism and populism. There are many more extremists and populists in other European countries, and they are much more aggressive than those in Britain. Brexit is a great opportunity for these extremists to try to break up the European Union. With Parliament hopelessly divided and unable to reach agreement on Brexit, Britain has lost control over its own destiny. Its immediate future will be determined by the 27 countries from whom it wanted to obtain independence. Most analysts agree that Britain will be allowed to stay within the bloc until it's able to make up its own mind what it wants to do. If not, and the EU has lost patience, then Britain could crash out of the Union without a deal on Friday. 
But social commentator Rod Liddell fears that Brexit is doomed. I think when Brexit doesn't happen, there will be a sullen resignation amongst the working class people in this country. This was their opportunity to say to the liberal elite, which runs the country, we don't want this. This is us shouting, we do not want this. And they've been denied that. So I don't think there will be riots on the street. We don't kind of do that sort of thing over here. Uh, but there will be an enormous corrosive effect upon democracy, upon people's faith in the democratic system. Back at the Sikh temple, a sumptuous wedding is underway. Happiness prevails. But one guest, Simran Sidhu, despairs of the ugliness that Brexit has generated. I've had racist graffiti on my car so my daughter can see it from her baby seat in the back. And these kind of instances aren't isolated. They're, they're, they're happening more and more to me, to my family, to people that I know. I fear that as this carries on, the negative economic consequences of Brexit are going to be blamed, as they often are, on people who seem like the other, people who seem a bit different. And all those things, in my opinion, are, are antithetical to the entire concept of the EU. At the dance school, Bonita Bedi worries that she'll be unable to protect her children from increased anti-immigrant sentiment and an uncertain future. People are thinking, we've won now. Basically, you can clear off. And that's what they want. They want to get back what was great, but they can still have that. It was still, I, I don't want to just, I don't want to just survive. I want to thrive. And that's the problem. I think people are saying, oh, we'll cope, we'll cope. I don't want to cope. I want to carry on thriving. For the young Bangra dancers, this is a defining week that will determine their future freedom of movement, whether they'll be identified as citizens of Europe or just of Brexit Britain. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Malcolm Brabant in Gravesham, Kent.